A three-day weekend for high school football. Alongside Joel Sebastianelli, I'm Mark Coons. It all started on Thursday with City League football in a full slate of games last night. Some almost trickled into early this morning. It all wraps up with a little taction between Cardinal Stritch and Eden. A year ago, it was a thriller. The Bombers won by two. This year, similar story. Cardinals 4-1, and one. Bombers 6-1. and one. Stritch spots the visitors 13 points in the second. Down six, Thomas Faust finds Clarence Brown in the end zone. Cardinal Stritch up by one. Later in the second, now a 19-14 game. Cardinals again deep in Eden territory. Edro Price slips out of the backfield. Stritch leading 20-19 at the half. In the third, Bombers back in front. Drew Gallagher finds a wide open Wade Parrish. And after the two-point conversion, 35-20 Eden in front. But again, Stritch rallies in the fourth. Faust keeps it. Turns the corner, nothing but painted grass ahead, but gets tripped up inside the five yard line. But fear not, the very next play, Faust would pick his way into the end zone after the two point conversion. It's just a seven point game, 35 28. But the Bombers get back into the end zone, and Eden holds on for the 43 28 victory. Stritch hosting Hilltop next week before heading to Northwood for their regular season finale. Despite the swings in momentum, Bombers kept their sights set on the victory. Mission accomplished. Uh, at halftime, our coaches talked to us. Uh, Cardinal Stritch, they came out and made some adjustments, uh, moved some players around that guarded our players. Uh, we saw some weaknesses there at halftime, different routes that we could run against them, and we took advantage of that in the second half, especially with their man defense. Since the beginning of the season, our goal is to be, has been to win the tack, and this is just one step closer to that. Week 10, we got Ottawa Hills coming to our place, so we're excited to play them, and we're just going to keep this thing rolling. Chris Schmidbauer and Mike Jewell were on the east side and have more from this one. A 43-28 win for the Eden Bombers tonight over Cardinal Stretch and Mike Jewell. We knew we were going to be in for a whale of a ball game. Give credit to both teams. They pulled out an instant classic tonight. I, I agree. I mean, you, you come out, you understand what you have to get done. You understand the adversity you're going to face on both sides with two brilliant athletic quarterbacks who can do a lot of things with other weapons and, and both teams made the adjustments they kept this entertaining and they played with a desire that was fun to watch it was infectious drew gallagher we knew we were going to see an excellent performance tonight the senior quarterback used his legs and his arm and his toe sometimes as well to keep Eden in the ball game, he really took over in that third quarter with some of those quarterback runs. That really changed the momentum of this game and allowed Eden to pull away from Cardinal Stretch. Yeah, he's a tough runner. They showed it once in the first half, you know, to score the, the, the touchdown. But then they, they come out, they, they see things. He understands the concept of what needs to be done, and he can switch to tailback in a heartbeat. The poise, the talent that he displayed, just something to watch. And Cardinal Stretch defense, they gave him everything they possibly could. Well, mentioning Cardinal Stritch, they came up just a bit short tonight. But this is a Cardinal team that's much better, I think, than people give them credit for. They fall to 4-2, and two, but two big games left. These Cardinals could be dancing in the playoffs here come the end of the season. Oh, man, I'm cheering for it because they play with a toughness, relentless on both sides of the football, and they have weapons. Thomas Faust gets things done. I, I love what he does offensively, but tonight he came to play on the defensive side as well. And then Jaden Moss. I drove Price, so many weapons on the offensive side. They all go both ways. Tough kids, they're going to get better and better. Got to finish the season strong and then get in that playoffs. Something new and exciting is happening, and it's Coach Gene Rucker getting it done. Well, a classic taction out here at Ted Federici Field. Cardinals Stritch, they closed the season with their rival Northwood. Big game for them still on the horizon. And you heard from Drew as well. They've got a game to close out the season against Ottawa Hills. Still a lot to play for in the tack.